Hey, Alex Bodie, Waikikana Foundation. Yeah. You started with the kids where? Well on, the, well, on the other side of the property about 12 years ago, that was what my way of giving back to the community because I've been in foster homes for almost all my life. So what I did was took the kids that came from homes that didn't have parents or, or, or single parent kids and, and brought them up to the farm and exercise and some things to do while cleaning up the place, running a chainsaw, you learning how to use a weed whacker, a lawnmower, and then we developed into different programs. And the kids liked the area, liked the scenery, liked doing what they were doing, felt good, felt that they also wanted to contribute. And uh, it is what it is, and we started growing plants from seeds till it is today. So now we're moving across to this place a mile away. We got 95 acres. So now we're going to start everybody's dreams to uh, taro, bananas, papayas, ava, noni, sweet potatoes. So this is the new place right here. This is the foundation. So. Fantastic. The yeah. foundation. And so with that foundation, you want to offer up spaces to... Yeah, we're going to have farm lots anywhere from 10 by 10 all the way to half acre to one acre lots. And... Um, People can come and just farm, and then they can also share their experiences with everybody. The kupunas can come and talk, and the youth can listen, and then it's just expanding. Everybody can bring their pilot programs. If they want to raise fish, if they want to do solar, anything that we can do together as a community to build our community, to build a character in a community, so we can come one tight community and be as one, and then don't nobody get hard. We plant food, get it back to the basics, get our water, get everything back, and then everybody can survive. Back to basics yeah, and holding always. hands in unity with yes. every member of our community. Yeah, force comes in numbers, so we need, you know, we're going to start today three people, tomorrow 30, the next day 300, the next day 3,000. So once you have force, force comes in numbers. With, 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 with that, you can't lose, yeah, with, with all the people. So. And there's an elementary school right across the street. We'll start yes. with those numbers. How about yeah. that? And then we'll get everybody from Haiku and the upcountry area. We'll get a little green waste dump going. That's one of our ideas. So we can turn around and sell the soil back to the, or even give them back to the people of Haiku. We got to get money for a chipper. So anybody that want to donate some money, put it in the jar. In the jar. So the first thing you need is a chipper for that, and then and you need a water line. So you need uh, how much? Twenty-five hundred dollars. We're asking for to put a two-inch water line from the top of this road down to the bottom. There's a three-thousand-foot road that we just we just uh, bulldozed. So I gotta put a, a water line in so we have water. Because with, 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 with life, all things find water with life. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so. you've been doing this by yourself out of your own pocket, even though this land was donated to yeah, you. Yeah, for about 14 years, I sacrificed a lot. I mean, I also have a lot of friends that helped us. Yes. So there, there's hundreds of people that gave me stuff. For the kids, because they know I work with the kids. Plus, I, I also worked with addicts. I also worked with prevention kids and also kids with disabilities. And uh, now I'm with Hui Malama and we're teaching them the basic fundamentals. So it's all about sustainability. That's what it always is. That's a way of life for us. Yes, it is. Planting and taking care of them. Well, thank you so much for putting your energy into creating this space for, uh, for our community and thinking community like yeah. that. So I can't wait to have the key, I mean, the Haiku Community Association meeting so I can share it with everyone. So whoever has ideas and whoever has uh, things, we can come and work together and see what we can do. But this is the start, a six acre block right here, the first block. So there's enough, there's enough room for everybody to get in here and start their pilot programs as soon as we get the water line in. Main thing is the water. So we need the water yeah. and then this whole cleared area, we'll just imagine it's surrounded by coconut palms with tons of fruit hanging from it. Uh, lining the side of the property and what else? Ulu. Sweet potato, we got ulu trees, we have sugar cane, we have tea leaf, we have everything that you can think of that can be grown because that's how it was before in the olden days and that's how it should be. Mm -hmm. Mahalo.
Alex Bodie from Waikikana Foundation, who's been working with the kids, bringing them out into nature, giving them that experience for the last 12 years, at least here at Waikikana. And before that, you have been doing this on the island your yeah. whole life. Yeah. Thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.